all right so this is one of the most difficult videos i have made this year because this video did take a lot of effort and planning to bring in front of you i hope you recognize that effort and if you do make sure to go ahead and subscribe to travel tech right away and smash that like button to show that you appreciate my work well that being said i want to talk a bit about the video before actually showing you the comparison so this video is actually a comparison between the ddpi mini pro and the ddpi n1 both these cameras support a 1296p resolution and there's a chance many of you might get confused which of these two dash cameras to buy so in order to clear that confusion this video is going to definitely help you out but there's also a certain point regarding these budget dash cams and as far as i've seen many people who buy budget dash cams after buying them they start complaining that the dash cam is not good enough it doesn't provide the required video quality and it doesn't give them a satisfactory license plate readability well i wanted to clear out the point that the budget dash cams like the mini pro the n1 and many others they are not designed to read number plates per se they are only designed to give you an overview of all the events that are happening in front of the car or in front of the dash camera getting a license plate read from these budget dash cams is actually a bonus if you do get one so in order to give you a proper perspective i brought in the 70mi a810 probably one of the best dash cameras available in india under the price bracket of 20000 rupees now this dash camera is specifically designed to read number plates especially in low light conditions and this is made possible because of the newly released sony starwis 2 sensor in the dash camera so if you want excellent video quality and if you want a very good license plate readability especially at night you will need to invest a minimum amount of 20000 rupees and get yourself a 70mi a810 and if you start complaining that your budget dash cam is not good enough for you but well, i think this video is going to clear out the confusion so enough talk let's jump in straight into the video and show you the ultimate comparison So let's begin with the comparison of the night sample from these three dash cameras. As you can see, I have arranged all the details and the technical specifications of all the cameras on the left portion of the screen. Now if I go ahead and pause the video at a certain point, now as you can see on the left side there is a Bolero car and I'm going to focus on the license plate of that first. Following that there is another important aspect, the license plate of the car which is farthest from me. About 20 feet away there is a Grand Aten and I'm going to zoom in on that license plate as well. Now the third important criteria which I'm going to show you in the night sample is the glare of the vehicle coming from the opposite direction. All these three aspects will come together in showing you which camera performs the best in night conditions. If we go ahead and zoom in on the license plate of the 70mi A810. Now this is a very good read of the license plate, very minimal noise, excellent brightness and contrast levels in the license plate read. Coming to the license plate read from the Mini Pro, slightly brighter, a moderately painted appearance, but still you can make out each number and letter clearly. The license plate read from the N1 gives some more painted appearance, although you can still make out the number plate, the overall quality when compared to the A810 and the Mini Pro does seem to come down a bit. So as you can see all three are arranged together for you to take a look at so that you can decide which one of them is the best one. Now since that is done let's focus on the license plate of the vehicle which is farthest about 20 feet away. Now I can make out the number plate although not very easily but still each number and letter is visible and you can make it out some way. So focusing on the license plate from the Mini Pro completely whitewashed there is no chance you are able to read the number plate at such a distance with my headlight falling directly on it. Coming to the license plate from the N1, again the same response, completely whitewashed. There is no way to read license plate in such conditions. Putting these three together side by side, as you can see, only the 70mi A810 excels in giving you this license plate read at such a high distance because of its path-breaking Starwis 2 sensor. Coming to the third important aspect, the glare from the headlights of the oncoming vehicles. I'll just jump in directly and show you the comparison of all the three the a810 has the least glare the mini pro has a moderate amount of glare and the n1 has the highest amount of glare continuing on the night footage so let me just pause the video again and show you the difference now because my headlight is now falling directly on the bolero's license plate and i'll show all of it in an instant without wasting your time by zooming in on the image 
So this is the zoomed in image. So as you can see the 810 gives a very good read of the license plate followed by that you can see the mini pro and the N1 fail to give a good read because of the glare of my headlight falling on them. This is where the A810 with the Star Wars 2 really excels. Following that now we can see the grand item on the right side. Now again the A810 provides the best image out of the three followed by the Mini Pro and then followed by the N1. Following that the vehicle the farthest from the car. Now you can slightly make out the number plate in the A810 sample but there is no chance you are making it out in the Mini Pro or the N1 sample. Continuing on with the night footage so as you can see the A810 gives the most natural and most realistic video quality followed by the Mini Pro which gives you a bit darker video but still more or less matches the A810 at least to certain extent. The video from the N1 has a slightly overexposed impression and a little bit lesser contrast. So now let's take a look at the daytime sample of these three dash cameras and jump in directly into the license plate read. Now there's a Jeep about 15 to 20 feet away and if I go ahead and zoom in on the license plate from the sample of 810 now slightly blurred sample but still you can make out each letters and numbers clearly there is absolutely no noise and that's really excellent follow that by mini pro it is blurred out except maybe the last three letters you are not able to make out anything and then followed by the n1 sample again you're not able to make out the number plate at all at such high distances in these 1296p dash cameras now comparing them side by side you can definitely make out the A810 has the best quality followed by Mini Pro and N1 which are more or less pretty much similar in terms of their license plate read. Coming into the license plate read at a very close range now this is by far one of the best license plate reads at a close range now this is given by the 70mm A810 following that the Mini Pro gives this image now this is slightly blurred out moderate amount of noise you can make out the number plate but I think this could actually have been much better. But if you take a look at the N1 sample now this gives a lot of painted appearance a lot of noise here and there you can make out the number plate yes but I think when you put them side by side of course the A810 is top notch followed that by Mini Pro and I think the last place is definitely the N1. So the overall daytime footage I think the A810 and the Mini Pro share similar specifications although the A810 completely outclasses both these dash cameras. The Mini Pro has a more natural feel compared to the N1. Whereas the N1 has a slight difficulty in adjusting to the proper color tones and temperatures. So this was the super cool comparison of all three dash cameras side by side. I'm pretty sure after watching this you will be in a better position to decide if you want a budget camera or you will wait for some time and invest a bit more amount and get yourself a 4K camera backed with a Sony Starways 2 sensor. Well the intention of this video is definitely not to say that you should not buy budget dash cams but I'm only pointing out the fact that the budget dash cams are not and will not be good enough to read license plates especially at a far range and even in low light conditions and the purpose for which you're purchasing the dash cam is to read number plates well definitely the budget dash cams are going to disappoint you well I don't think I need to speak more about this because the comparison itself has spoken for itself so if you have any doubts or queries regarding this video Regarding the dash cameras, you can write that down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you're interested in purchasing any of these three dash cameras, the links to purchase them will be provided in the description of this video, along with all the detailed unboxing features and the review videos, which I have already made and posted on my channel. So if you're someone who is new to my channel, you can check out the description and find all those videos right there. Also, if you're interested in getting some more info on these dash cams and related accessories, you can check out the website nextdigitron.com. So this video took a lot of effort and planning to bring this in front of you. I hope you recognize that effort and support me by subscribing to my channel and also smashing that like button. So this was the video for today. Many more interesting videos coming up in the future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.